Good evening and thanks for joining us on Budget Night. It'll be handed down in an hour's time and Treasurer Wayne Swan says there'll be something for every postcode. But first tonight, how the big two have been caught out big time and essentially postcode's the problem. A consumer watchdog operation has caught Coles and Woolworths falsely labelling products as being Australian. James Thomas reports it's the first time they've been busted, but now they're on notice. <laughs> These two large re retailers should know better. It is a landmark catch. Woolies and Coles have been caught conning consumers. Wake up to yourselves. You know, this is Australia. Let's sell Australian goods. Woolworths told customers that these lemons were Australian. Well, that's wrong, isn't it? Coles didn't even bother to tell us where their grapefruit was from. I feel very deceived. The grapefruit came from Israel. The lemons were American. But neither was labelled correctly, leaving consumers in the dark and wondering what else are they being duped on. I, I think that's, that's disgusting because it does mislead the consumer. For the first time, Australia's largest retailers have been busted by food authority inspectors in New South Wales for breaching country of origin labelling laws. They have both been fined uh, in accordance with the legislation. New South Wales Minister for Primary Industries, Katrina Hodgkinson, has the big two in her sights. Her message is clear. You're losing the confidence of the Australian consumer by not advertising country of origin in a, an honest way. The big deal is that these products are coming halfway around the world. They're subsidised by their government. They, and not just Israel and, and um, USA, China, Peru, Brazil, Chile, New Zealand. Ausbuy's Lynn Wilkinson says consumers will buy Australian if it is labelled correctly because of fears associated with foreign produce. They're coming from environments where we don't know the conditions in which they are grown. I know that many of the pesticides and things like that we no longer test for. Woolworths and Coles have now been placed on the New South Wales Food Authority's name and shame register for misleading customers on the origin of their food. It is an unprecedented move and in a statement Woolworths say this was an isolated case of human error in one store where the lemons themselves had stickers correctly displaying they were from the USA, but the signage above the lemons incorrectly stated they were a product of Australia. As for Coles... I'm sorry, I'm not sure I understand that, I understand that question. Um, I I pick it up, Julia, can, I ask, can I ask you about that then, Jim? Or? Coles say that our question on being named and shamed was without notice and that their man was not properly briefed to answer it. Later in the day, they gave us this considered response. There was no intent to mislead. This was simply an IT error that meant that the label wasn't correct and we've taken steps to make sure that doesn't happen in the future. At the very least, Coles, unlike Woolworths, were prepared to put someone up to talk to us. Woolworths still maintained that they were too busy to talk on camera today. You know, you can, you can always come forward with an excuse, but when you're a major retailer, as both Coles and Woolworths are, there just are no excuses. This is certainly not the kind of publicity that the large supermarkets want. At the moment, they're engaged in a war for the hearts and minds of their customers. Today, for example, Coles would much prefer that we be talking about their new initiative, drive-through groceries. Customers tell us they love the convenience of home-delivered groceries um, in a chilled van right to the kitchen bench, but they also tell us that sometimes it's not convenient to lock themselves in to a delivery window. And it's more convenient if they could co collect, if they could pick up at their convenience. So Coles Online's general manager, Keith Louie, is trialling Click and Collect, a shopping system which allows you to order online and then pick up your groceries from the supermarket. Or in this instance, the nearby servo. They like the convenience of being able to collect at their convenience rather than having, say, a two-hour delivery window when they need to be home. Keith says the trial has come about in response to consumer complaints surrounding the current online delivery system. In the normal Coles Online offer, we have a delivery fee that's around about $9. It, it varies in, in location. But the great thing about Click and Collect is there's no collection fee at all. Coles concede that online prices on some items will remain more expensive, but they promise if the grapefruits are from Israel, or anywhere else for that matter, they'll tell you. One thing Coles can be assured of is customers will hold them to it. I'd rather go and buy it in the fruit shop.